Welcome back to Amiibo Doctor. Today we're going to be taking a look at Mewtwo. Now, I just finished filming the video where we trained the Fox Amiibo and then did part two where we tested out what we found, that sort of thing. There was a lot of stuff in the AI that we did not already know about. So, we're going to be doing the same thing with Mewtwo. Now, I have a hunch, call it a hunch, it is just a hunch, Mewtwo might be able to do things out of down throw. Don't necessarily know if it's forward air, but down throw is close enough. I want him to use a lot of down throw. Uh, grabs are usually difficult for Amiibo, but we'll try for down throw anyway. And see how well we can get that to work. In addition, I also want him to try out Shadow Ball, even though it's generally not been considered optimal. I want to see how successfully can we get him to use the second portion of the move. Historically, Amiibo have had a hard time with charge moves that function as two input moves. So if we can get him to do it correctly to some degree, that would be a major benefit. Shadow Ball is one of the only ways Mewtwo can counter. It's always been a real disappointment for an Amiibo that would otherwise be very interesting, possibly even anti-meta. So getting Shadow Ball functional would be super duper cool. This isn't necessarily an optimal Ami uh, Mewtwo Amiibo guide. This is just poking around with the AI to see what we can get. So, one last time, that's down throw combos. See what kind of forward up, forward uh, follow up we can get. There we go. I was saying forward air. That's not right. Um, see what kind of neutral special stuff we can make happen. See if we can get him to actually fully charge it, and uh, then whatever else may come. I do have a theory that side special on Mewtwo might actually be really good. I really hope it is. It is a command grab, and those are usually pretty dang good. Come here. Let me down throw you. I think what we should try to do um, in order to further incentivize... Oh, by the way, I should make clear. Did you see how he just used... He's the red one, I'm the purple one. Did you see how he just used Shadow Ball against me? That's normal right so there's there's two stages to shadow ball in saying things like sam's charge shot donkey kong's cargo punch whatever it's called there's the first part you press b and it starts charging right but then at some point when it charges enough it it like stops charging and then you have the fully charged one that you can throw out at any time right amiibo have a problem with the second part where you have to use b again to throw out the projectile the reason that that's the case is because historically Nintendo has had the first part of the move, the charging part, be considered the goal of using the move. So that the amiibo, once it fully charged, would think, ah, that was successful. It, that was successful. <laughs> that's what we wanted. So that's all it would do. It wouldn't use it again until it died, and then it would recharge it. However, I've been told that there's some AI differences, so we're going to poke around with those as well and see if that is fixed. Hopefully it is, um, but when, when things like that happen where it's just throwing out the uncharged version, that's, that's normal, that's to be expected. We have already had that. How many times can I miss forward air in a row? There we go. I guess you can't use it several times in Oro, can you? His uh, side special. Oh, that gave me another idea. Side special to forward smash should be built in. I don't think we'll lab that out uh, in this one, but if Nintendo was going to build something in, that would sure be a good thing to build in. Um, I don't plan on using Shadow Ball unless it's fully, fully charged. Um, that way we can... If there's AI built in for Shadow Ball and, and demonstrating that and that sort of thing, then we'll be able to know whether or not fully charging it or not has an impact on it. So. It's starting to rain. I do anticipate that he'll end up with a lot, a lot, a lot of forward air. <laughs> By the way, um, pivot pivot grabs do count as dash dancing to the AI, which is not good. We don't want dash dancing. Dash dancing double plus on good. Oh, fun fact. 
If you hit somebody with confusion twice, why didn't that work? If you hit somebody with confusion twice... In melee, if you hit somebody with confusion twice, the second hit is actually fairly powerful. I guess that doesn't exist in ultimate. Huh. That's interesting. Most people never try to hit... Most people never play Mewtwo in melee. Most people also never try to hit uh, with that in melee. So This is the uh, boring part of training is when they're low level, they're not doing enough interesting stuff. It's whatever. Why did it go that angle? That's weird. Now I do wonder, aside from down throw forward air, down throw to neutral air might also be built in. If, if down, or whether or not down throw forward air is, down throw nair would be really good. That would be a great combo tool. It wouldn't be good for KOs, which is what Mewtwo has a problem with, but it would be really good. Provided he can land it, which is difficult. Man, I'm disappointed that's not in. Huh, I really liked using that against opponents. Because they would never know how to DI. So they, they would expect like a forward smash, right? And they would DI accordingly. And then I would I would hit them with confusion. Although that was in melee, so, you know. Was it also in Smash 4? I feel like it may have been. Oh, there's another thing. Um, so jabs were recently added to Amiibo. So we might be able to get him to use jab fairly effectively. I actually don't know if Mewtwo has any jab follow-ups. Like that the character has, not the AI, but the character. Could be, could not be. We'll find out. There's probably, if, you know, there's the thing about Mewtwo, about labbing out what could Mewtwo have built in, is that there's a lot of things that you could conjure up that could work. Like down tilt to forward air, down throw to forward air. Uh, I know up tilt repeating is built in, so we're not going to go for that. Um, because his up tilt is horrible. You know what? Small change of plans here. Let's try Confusion. Let's we'll we'll throw that into the mix as well. That would be a very interesting move. It it would basically function as a free shield break because they would be stunned, right? It would only work half the time because the opponent would have to face them. But that would be very interesting if Mewtwo could do confusion. Let's let's take a look at that as well. Ping, there we go. Oh, by the way, uh, we're eight minutes in, and if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, read my Mewtwo Amiibo's name, thank you. Dude, if you could learn Confusion, because this is lasting a while, I'm at 70%, and it's lasting a good three or four seconds. A smash attack follow-up to Confusion. Dude, that's very doable. <laughs> that is very doable. The ability to learn something out of Confusion. We'll, we'll try, like, Confusion down smash. See, I, I was originally just going to lab out the one thing, and now I'm getting inspired. It is... <laughs> Um, I, if I remember correctly, at least in Melee it was. Uh, apparently they've changed some of the properties, but um, it is a projectile, if I, if I recall. So you can actually reflect confusion, which I find very funny. <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll try it again and then follow up with a, we'll say a forward smash. Down smash would be easier. I think it comes out quicker, but forward smash is fine too. I say is then I do down smash. Okay, we're going to stop using Shadow Ball after this match to see if he picked up on it or not. 
he doesn't seem to be following up confusion with anything which is okay he's at a very low level right now so that's that's doable you know um it's entirely but dude what is up with your recovery mewtwo has horrible recovery ai at least at this level it does remember amiibo levels do sometimes change what ai functions are available to them nintendo does that to give them the appearance of getting smarter when really they're just not being entirely forthcoming <laughs> back to down throw come here down throw We'll try some some nair. Probably miss that several times as well. Miss that several. There we go. Bzzz. So he's definitely got confusion down. He picked that up a lot faster than I thought he would. Like a lot faster. He's almost exclu- okay, I might have to stop using Confusion entirely, because he's he's picking up on it too much. We still want him to use other moves. Mewtwo. Why? Why? You go- he goes, like, straight to the bottom of the stage, and then just goes that way. I'm like, dude, that is not how you rec- oh, shoot, I did that on accident. There you go. Hey! All right. We're at least getting him to do more Shadow Ball. I wasn't looking to see if that was a fully charged one or not, but we're at least getting him to do it. To some degree. We're getting him to shoot it off. I'm very surprised at how quickly he picked up confusion. That is, oh, whoops, that is very surprising to me. Especially because it's it's not the sort of move that you would expect Nintendo would use in an AI. You know, I don't remember them having used confusion before. It, it may have just been patched in. I don't know. Oh, Mewtwo can wall jump. Really? Is that what I just did? Let me check this out. Son of a gun. Since when can Mewtwo wall jump? Whose idea was this? That's like... That's such a foreign idea to me. That Mewtwo can wall jump. There you go. Yes. Yes! Okay, it's working. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Okay, so we're not going to use Confusion anymore. Confusion is done and over with. Now, we're, we're still going to focus on down throw because I'd still like some down throw. Um, that was fast, Confusion. Man. Literally, like, one match, he went from no Confusion to only using Confusion. That is pretty fast. I'm very curious. Dude, if, if Mewtwo can, like, use Confusion, they'd probably see it as a shield break, right? I anticipate that that's what they would do. But, if they can use Confusion and, like, follow it up, that that alone would be enough to take Mewtwo up a bit in, in Amiibo. Like, in the Amiibo meta stuff. <laughs> Amiibo meta. That's the Amiibo tier list. That's the word I'm looking for. AmiiboDoctor.com. Amiibo tier list. That's the website. Just add a slash tier list to the end. It's in the sidebar. There we go. One more time. Just for kicks. One thing I liked. Um, small factoid in, in Melee. Uh, Sheik, Zelda, and Mewtwo are nerfed um, when you have a name tag on. Actually, and did they... Yeah, that's the case in Ultimate as well. Um, the reason being is that you can still... See, you can see which direction they air dodge. So, typically, without a name tag, their air dodges are invisible, right? And you don't know where they're going. 
But when you have the name tag on, you can see which direction. Now, Sheik doesn't get much out of like a wave dash, we'll say, um, or, or an invisible air dodge or something along those lines, but it is still a mild, mild nerf. So. Remember, by the way, we're not training an optimal Mewtwo, okay? We're just trying to train a Mewtwo. <laughs> we're we're going to lab out the AI, see what we have as far as AI goes. By the looks of it, it ain't much. <laughs> I'm surprised he's not using more forward air. Dude, what is it with the ceilings? I don't know of any other amiibo that have that problem. I know, like, you know, Pikachu and Pichu, when quick attack happens, they're fine, right? They can... Just recover from that, no problem. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, sweet, made it. See, now he's almost completely stopped using confusion. Good job, Doc. He went, like, the whole match without using it, and then I say that, and now he's used it three times in the last 30 seconds. Great going. Come on, use more Shadow Ball. Hit me. Hit me. Right here, buddy. Come on. Shadow Ball. You can do it. Don't be scared. That is... Like, the very first throw. The very first throw. And it's an up throw. No, it's two of them! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is so... No okay, so up throw is probably built in then. Since we've done nothing but down throw. And he's still going to up throw. Jeez, a little... You gonna use your shadow ball? Up throw again. Oh my god. Yeah, so up throw is definitely built in. So screw down throw. <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Well, at least now we know. You gonna use Shadow Ball at me or what? Are you? I mean, up throw is an okay K move, KO move, but like, I would still rather have down throw follow ups. You know what I mean? Didn't his Shadow Ball used to be a hitbox? I know it wasn't melee. Hit me. Hit me with your shadow ball. At this point, I'm just gonna, like, why? Alright, screw it. We're just gonna end this. We're just gonna kill him. You're dead. Goodbye. You're dead. Get over it. Jeez. <sighs> He's like, I'm, I'm, like, watching with joy in my eyes as he's finally using a throw and then whoop, up a throw I'm like no and then he does it again I'm like okay maybe this is it whoop, up throw no okay third time third time's a charm whoop, no <laughs> why why ah, alright so down throw is not a possibility doesn't look like shadow ball is either what else is... Oh, Confusion. That's right. We still have Confusion. Let's check this out, huh? How does Confusion work? Can we do it? Can we do Confusion? Since this is our last hope, so that this whole video isn't a complete waste of time. Do it. Right there. Right there. Right there. Pop. Oh, well, that was interesting. I hit him with that, and then I pop him, and it's actually a mild attack. Huh. That's very interesting. It's it's probably set knockback as well. Because he's at like 100, right? <laughs> I accidentally reflected his confusion. See? Confusion is a projectile. I told you. And he's just using it. He's trying to follow up confusion with confusion. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's probably set knockback then. Alright. Dang it. That is very disappointing. 
Okay, what level is he at? Only 23, huh? Alright. We'll do like two or three more matches, and then we'll get him up to 50, and then we'll all be disappointed together. I don't know why I switched to Tournament Hazard. Oh, that's right, for the three stock. I was like, why did I bother switching stages? Oh, yeah. That would be why. <sighs> okay. By the way, if you're still not subscribed... You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You're charging it. That's pretty good. He's following up throw with forward air. And back throw. Anything except for down throw. No matter what. Cannot be down throw. That would just be horrible. If it were down throw. There you go. Back throw. He's used every throw. He's used every throw except for down throw. Why? Why do you have to do this to me? I don't understand. We have a saying in the amiibo scene. It's called amiibo gay. You know why? Because it's super gay. I like homosexual. Just super gay. And amiibo gay. Every once in a while we have somebody get offended by that. And we're like, <laughs> give a fuck. Like, relax about it, you know? Who cares? You know, that probably is a flaw of Side Special, actually, is that Amiibo can react to it. The the Amiibo being Twisty Turnied can react to it before um, the Mewtwo can. So I guess maybe that wouldn't be such a good idea to do that. Now that I'm looking at it. Dude, use it. No, not that. Use the Shadow Ball. Use the... The... the, the... Alright, you suck. This is going to be a very disappointing Mewtwo. Just like every other Mewtwo. Uh, he's not... Yeah, alright. He did it like once. He, he used the full HR, although I'd, maybe I'd have to look over footage, because I might have seen that incorrectly. But, like... Oh, I DI'd the wrong way, didn't I? He, uh, he used it fully charged once at the start of this whole thing. But he hasn't gone back and done it at all. That was a good read. Good job, Doc. What was that? Did you see that? Where he, like, teleported down and then down to the ledge. That was weird. I've never seen that before. There's a lot of, like, screwy stuff with Mewtwo's teleport. You don't... Do you really see a lot of that with Palutena's teleport? They're basically identical moves. I don't think I see a lot of it with the two of them. Alright, let's end this misery quickly. We're gonna turn his learning off and then... I don't think there's anything more that we can do for this Mewtwo. He might just be that dumb. Ah, oh, it's my arm right there. Whew. That's disappointing, man. I was really hoping there was at least something to find, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course he's enthusiastic. They're always enthusiastic. That's a by, by the way, by the way, by the way. Amiibo personalities are completely irrelevant. They don't tell you anything about your Amiibo. FYI. Okay, well, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you're probably... Mm -hmm. When am I going to put this out? Probably, like, Thanksgiving or so, something like that. So... Mm -hmm.